welcome to my channel my name is Marina and I'll be doing your reading for today it is a general love reading so it might not resonate with all of you it is for your Sun Moon rising and Venus sign I hope you enjoy your reading for today and for all you cross watchers roles can be reversed and energies can go both ways and I'll be doing a tarot reading for your love situation today do let me know with thumbs up if you like the reading and if you want to support my channel please subscribe and share with your friends and loved ones and love and light to all of you and with that being said let's begin so Gemini this is your January 2022 reading and I'll be taking a look into your recent past your current energies and your not too distant future and I'll finalize it with some advice and messages from the universe so let's begin shall we messages from the universe for January 2022 from my lovely Gemini Messages from the universe for January 2022 for my lovely Gemini and Happy New Year, Gemini. I hope this year brings you all the joy and happiness that you deserve. So let's take a look into your recent past, shall we? Okay. Wow. Let's have a look. So, my dear Gemini. In your recent past, I see that you've had to go through some self-discovery. Um, you know, you've started, you know, thinking, thinking deep down and having, you know, soul searching and realizing, you know, what's important for you. And I feel that, you know, you've come to a, a place of great joy and success because now you know what works for you. You know, you've got all this gratitude and, um, you know, you know that, you know, you're no longer going to, let's say, be a slave uh, to, to a situation that doesn't work anymore for you. So I feel that you've reached to a stage um, where you have come to a balance and appreciation of yourself and where you stand and what's good for you and what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So I feel that, um, you know, rewards are coming. And you kind of, you, you've seen that things have started changing because you have started making wise choices. And the wise choices that you made, uh, you're seeing them through. You're seeing that you've done the right choices. Um, what, what you made, choices that were made from the past are going to work for you. Uh, you no longer uh, are trapped by your emotions. You're no longer... Uh, trapped by dreaming of a situation that doesn't work. You have taken matters into your own hands. You have freed yourself from past obsessions and addictions and things that no longer work. So now you're realizing there's, uh, you know, opportunities for new exciting things. You're allowing yourself uh, to feel passion. You're allowing yourself to open new doors uh, you know, you're, you're going to socialize, you're going to go out more, you're appreciating yourself more, you know, it's more about you self-soothing you and taking care about you, you know, you're no longer going to be trapped or put yourself in a relationship or a situation where it's just a one-sided or you're doing more and they, they're not, so I feel that you have come out of this and you've seen this and you've had time out with this and you're realizing, um, that whatever decision you made in your recent past uh, was a great decision at that because, um, you know, you've had peace and you've had clarity, um, you've got more self-love and all that plays a very big, big part, a major part in our life, you know. Um, in your current energy, I feel that, you know, some of you, you know, uh, you know, taking matters into their own hand. Some of you are emotionally unavailable. You're doing things. You're busy. You know, you're trying to keep busy. You don't want to, you know, it's almost like you've switched off your emotions. You know, you don't want to go down there anymore. You're doing what works for you. Um, you know, because I feel that in the past you did you know, invest emotionally and there was a great disappointment, a great pain. So now it's almost like you've you've switched off that emotional, you know, button inside you. Um, but I'll tell you one thing, it's not going to last because, because something amazing is coming. There's some passionate 
amazing, uh, you know, relationship that's heading your way. So yes, Gemini, the planet of Venus, you know, you're ruled by the planet of Venus. You're, you're very emotional and, and you love romance. You're all about the romance. So how was it that we switched that romantic button off? But it's okay. You had to do what you had to do to find your balance, to find your happiness, to move on. And you have done that. But in your current energy, I see an amazing love story beginning, an amazing, passionate love story coming um, at your end. And you know now what's wrong and what's right. You know the red flags. You know whether you're going to be appreciated or not. You're not going to stay in a relationship or you will not give a chance to a relationship that hurts you or that you know that you're putting in more. So you've learned a lot with this knowledge and you're continuing to move forward. But I do see somebody entering your life. Uh, it's a new someone. There's excitement there. I feel, uh, you know, a new foundation is going to be built. Uh, you're taking things very slow. I mean extremely slow, but you are excited because I do see chemistry. I see, um, you know, childish play, uh, you know, acting like, uh, you know, teenagers. I see a, a flirtatious affair. So, um, you know, it's like you're regressing and, and, and you, you know, you're, you're, you're being like a teenager, you know, in, in love again. So it's, it's very cute. It's very innocent. It's very innocent. It's very flirtatious. Yeah, I do see it, you know, childish, but it's very flirtatious and very romantic. And I see you getting very excited about this. So yes, you're taking it slow, but at the same time, um, there's something there. There's some chemistry there. You know, I feel it's somebody familiar, maybe somebody, you know, a friend of a friend or in, in a situation. You know, it could be somebody new, but it's in a familiar setting. So um, you're very comfortable. You're very, very comfortable about this person and the situation. This is the clue. The situation and the environment that you're meeting the certain someone or you're getting attracted chemically with the certain someone. There's a lot of chemistry around it. It's in a familiar setting, you know, um, you could be with friends or somewhere that you like going. It's somewhere familiar and that's what makes it so comfortable and wonderful. So in your not too distant future, in your not too distant future, my lovely Gemini, I see an amazing opportunity. I see that you are passionate about this new friendship. Um, you know, you're going through all the feelings again. Um, there's fears there because you don't want to start investing. And, you know, you know, they say once we're bitten, twice shy. So take it slow, take it easy. You know, I see this thing, see it for what it is, for what it is. But this time around, I see this, this relationship is different. It's bringing out, you know, uh, you know, it's bringing out the, the romance in you. I feel that you're, you know, you can be yourself with this, this time around in this relationship. You're more at yourself. You're more comfortable. Um, you know, you're very happy with a certain someone. I see it's like a soulmate uh, connection because, you know, they understand you. And that's what makes it so nice because, you know, Gemini, you're not easily understood. You know, it's, it's somebody that really cares about you and loves you that will look deep within you and, and will truly understand you. Otherwise, you're not easily understood. So that's why I feel in this relationship, there's truly an understanding there. Uh, there is compassion there. There's a lot in common there. You're doing things with this certain someone that you haven't done with anybody in the past. You know, you could be going out, exploring things, uh, being childish, uh, sitting and doing stuff together. You, you're doing, you've got things in common, movies, songs uh, in common, uh, you know, going to places that, that you have in common. It's a soulmate connection, my goodness. And, and that's what makes it so different. So you don't need to be, you know, scared and, and you don't need to, uh, you know, put them at arm's length, you know, because I feel and you will feel inside and you will know deep down that there is a connection there. And, you know, uh, you will feel that they are familiar. Not only had you met them in a familiar settings, but there's something familiar. This is a soulmate connection. That's what I call this. This is a soulmate connection. This is part of your contract. This is what you signed up for. And I feel that you will both have that 
that chemistry, that heat, that, that, you know, they belong to me type of a scenario. So I see this thing blossoming. I see all your dreams coming true with this. And, you know, you want to pinch yourself to wake up and see if this is real or not, but it is real. Take, take your time, enjoy it. It's coming for you. It's sent for you. And it's going to be an amazing, an amazing love story. I see you having control this time around in this relationship. And I see there's a lot of fruitful in this relationship. A lot of things that you've suppressed in your past relationship, I feel it's the opposite with this relationship. This is all in and this is whatever you feel, whatever's in your heart is in your mouth, it's in your tongue. You say it the way it is and your certain someone is so, you'll be so comfortable. It's like being with yourself. It's like being in your own skin. You, you mirror each other. That's what it is. You mirror each other. And it's truly an amazing, amazing, uh, re, you know, reunion of soulmates from past lives. So let's take some advice and messages from the universe for January 2022. See what they have to say about this amazing connection. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look what they have to say about this amazing connection. This is wonderful. I love it when it's like this. The first thing, my lovely Gemini, we have the lover's card. So the universe approves, approves of this amazing soulmate connection, a true love, a deep, intimate friendship, and made choices from the heart. So this decision will be from the heart. It's You're, you're going to recover from the past. Uh, this new relationship is going to heal, heal the wounds and the scars from your past because they are nothing from your past. They are completely different. You will mirror each other and you're moving forward and it, it's time for love. It's a true love. There are choices to be made, but you're going to make those choices together because you will have a lot of options. Be careful of somebody trying to return from the past. Don't even look back because this new someone is going to, well, you're not even looking back because you're not even taking this other person back because I see you have shed a new light about this. Uh, you've walked out from the situation and you're truly getting what you want. You're truly in love with what you want. Um, you know, and the universe is telling you that you have true love this time with this renewal um, major arcana, which is a judgment. It tells me that you are reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness, but you know it's time to heal and you're moving to a new direction because you've had clarity in your life. And now you know in your heart what you're going to do and you know what's coming to your life you want to value and keep because what's coming is is the good karma that you gave out in the past and did everything and was not appreciated. This time around, you've got somebody coming back and giving you everything that you want. And, you know, you're truly fortunate with this amazing love story because somebody truly loves you and wants to be part of your world and accepts you for who you are, understands you the way you want to be understood and is truly a soulmate connection from past life because we have here... Um, the true love lovers card and you know, it's a judgment so I feel that you know um, this is all clarity in your life and this this is a timing it's a purpose a timing for this love love uh, connection that has you know that's been sent from a higher higher source and I feel you will truly uh, be happy and appreciate each other and be yourself together and you will mirror this is the clue you will mirror each other you know whatever you like they like whatever they like you like it's I've got goosebumps it's truly a soul connection a twin flame soul connection and the universe is truly giving their blessings for this union and I wish you all the best, my lovely Gemini. Um, this was your reading for January 2022. An amazing love story is going to be born. And it's made from up there, from the heavens. It's being sent to you. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Don't forget, if it resonates with you, give me a thumbs up. And to support my channel, please subscribe to it. And share with your friends and loved ones. If you'd like to be notified when I upload my videos, just click on the notification bell. And namaste and God bless and thank you for watching.